it's a table, it's bread broken, it's Kool-Aid, red Kool-Aid at a picnic. I came to Amina's house back in 91, and when I got to meet her son, Sydney, and when I met Sydney, I was so starstruck that I, I asked him, what do you think about your mother being an artist? And he just looked at me kind of. Then later, when I left, I thought, I should have asked him, what does he dream? <laughs> what is he about? And so that stuck with me all these years, and then found out that he died young. This residency or this opportunity gives me a chance to revisit the dialogue I had with Sydney and really create work around Sydney's the part of the legacy of Amina. My first motive as a child or a younger person was to get an art show and be known as an artist and buy happiness and fix my family. Well, the family at large becomes the whole human race and mankind. And my assignment is really to comfort humanity. And to comfort humanity is to be human, to have hope, to make light, art that has light in it or inspires, it really is unfolding hope for me. And so every piece is laced with hope, it's laced with comfort, it's laced with um, my desire to touch and bring family to the table. Family is comfort, it's a table, it's bread broken, it's Kool-Aid, red Kool-Aid at a picnic, it's old parents telling jokes and correcting you, and it's all those things that come with being caring. And it's even changing your mind or forgiving and moving on, knowing how to take criticism. It's all those things that provide a healthy community. So it's like, that's what it's all about for me. Part of my mission here is to make it clear that I'm part of Sydney's family and um, he continues to live inside of us. I loved how Mina uses her hog mog work. And so this is a kind of, not really hog mog, but it's made with air dry clay, paper towels and shells and beads and buttons and twigs. So this is the music box, that I, well, music tribute to Amina. <laughs> with her turtleneck and her bald head and her earrings all in her ear. It was just really like, um, it had a, a Japanese gesture. So I was able to strip it down and put it together and put these buttons on it. And I cut up an old hat that I had to make the turtleneck sweater and really wanted to put this fabric all around it so it, you can kind of feel Philomena's elegance. And this is how she, I last remember her, her hands up, her joy, and I really feel honored that I can bring it in Amina's space and have it recorded as part of my history and pull it out. And I'm going to show my grandkids when they get to come by. I have this opportunity to show things and put things in together with, in the space with Amina. <laughs> it's a dream come true. <laughs>